lot about and argue that all the value today goes to the artists, which is a beautiful and compelling idea. Why is it also incredibly urgent? Um, well, let's understand what an artist is. An artist has nothing to do with paint or sculpture. Uh, I think that we can agree that when Marcel Duchamp put a urinal into a, a Dadaist art exhibit, he was doing art. But the second guy to install a urinal is a plumber. And, and that distinction is important. What artists are, are human beings who are doing the brave and scary work of doing something original and human that has a risk to it that changes someone else for the better. And so art with no one watching it, art with no one using it, isn't art. And a copy of the Mona Lisa isn't art, it's merely a painting. So when we see that human beings are the only people, except for some elephants in Thailand, capable of doing art, we then have to say, why is that urgent and why do we need to do it now? And the answer is, because if all you're doing is following instructions, I've already put that in front of someone cheaper than you. And Walmart started this cycle, certainly consumer goods, but corporations have been after it for a long time, that if you have told your business customer or your consumer, it's just like the other one, but cheaper, then what you've done is train them to keep looking for the cheaper one. But artists never have that problem. Artists say, it's the only one. It's the original. It's the one worth buying. And soon it will get copied and cease to be art. So the artist has to keep cycling in this direction while the copyists have to keep cycling in that direction. You make such an inspiring case to do work as art. Uh, and it makes me think of um, one of my favorite organizations that really does value everybody as artists, Pixar. And one of the mantras they have there is, you know, we think about how do you do art as a team sport, which I, I just love because you've got that individual urge to create sure. and, and to have that, to, to take the risk and have that courage, but how do you do it as a team sport? Yeah. Um, well, the question itself uh, implies that there's a map for how you do that. Artists can't use maps. And so we, we're now coming up against this notion of how you scale this. The map, step-by-step -step instructions, the dummy's guide, mm -hmm. lets you corporatize it and mechanize it. And once you corporatize it and mechanize it, it will cease to be art. So there's a reason that Pixar can't say, this is the Pixar method, it works for everyone. Instead, there's a Pixar culture. And the Pixar culture is not a method, just like the IDEO culture is not a method. The IDEO culture is just, what kind of people do we want in this building? And what is it like when those people collaborate? So if I look at something like Disney, Disney hasn't changed its method, but its culture has changed. Mm -hmm. And they corporatized it a long time ago, probably before Eisner, but certainly under Eisner. It got into this public company, stamping it out sort of thing. So even though the process of how they make a movie or how they open a theme park is the same, yeah. magic goes away because you tried to write a map. So I would argue that successful entrepreneurs, like the guys at Pixar, said, who should we hire? What's our code of ethics? How do we create a platform where we can leave certain egos at the door but let other egos in? Mm -hmm. And then the art has to take care of itself. Mm -hmm.